Shalom, 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 shalam. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, and Kakadash. I want to say, Yahweh, to the positive of the radio stones as well. Peace and blessings to the Lord. So, kind of just a quick movie review that we finna go uh, movie uh, Oppenheimer. Okay? And for brothers out there that haven't seen it yet, hey, go see that movie. Because it's a real spiritual movie to go into, like, how these devils created the uh, atomic bomb. Okay, and the uh, atomic bomb is a major key to uh, prophecy to us getting up out of here. And that's according to the scriptures. You know, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. That's said the Bible. You know that, like that's what that uh, that's what that uh, hellfire is going to be. Okay, we go to uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Yep. Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. Right, so what's the smith? The smith represents those uh, scientists. Okay, J. Robert Oppenheimer. His first name is uh, Julius. Okay. Keep going. And it says, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, okay. and I have created the waster to destroy. Right, so yeah, they, uh, the waster. Okay. Because that, uh, that nuclear thermal uh, fire is going to waste everything. Because this whole landmass is going to be a, a wasteland. All right? Because uh, after those missiles drop, this land is never going to be inhabited again. All right? It's going to be for, uh, for desert creatures. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah 13. In verse uh, 19. And it says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, because this land is pretty much Sodom and Gomorrah. Because America, this land is is it's all the wicked kingdoms rolled, rolled in one. So it's Babylon, Egypt, Mesopotamia, uh, uh, Rome, uh, Greece, you know, all those different uh, types of captivities. Uh, Medial Persian Empire. Okay, you got uh, Jason walking around with dreads. You know, you know they had dreads when they was in the, uh, the Persian Empire, worshiping them uh, idols. And you know they had them in the Greek Empire too. That's right. And, uh, and the, what were the what were the Chaldeans known for? They was known for magic, sorcery, and stuff like that. What does the modern day America practice? Magic, sorcery, and the source of all kind of sorts of things, you know. That's so right. That's why they will be represented as the modern day Chaldeans, okay? Because when you read the scriptures, you know. The scriptures can be too you know. So this is the Lord talking about, you know, the mod those Chaldeans, but also the modern day Chaldeans is our Edomites. Okay? That's right. Uh, continue on, and it says, "It shall not be able, shall not be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in for generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there." But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant place palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. That's right. So hey, it's not gonna be prolonged. Okay. So yeah, hey, they already talking about this uh this uh this uh fit now system. Okay. Um, you got, uh, uh, redacted, basically saying, like, hey, would you take, uh, an RFID, you know what, see him for $2,000 a month, like, like, with, like, with the whole, uh, pandemic, because they trying to introduce this, uh, this, uh, universal basic income, you know, so, uh, they trying to hook everybody up, you know, and it's going to come with benefits, like those miracles that, that they said that it's going to come with, you have to know. Uh, right. So yeah, hey, it's all a part of this uh, new world order. Uh, go to. Hey, if you got one, pour it out, and then we're gonna go to uh, Isaiah 34. You can get yours. We can get that one first. Okay. Isaiah 34. All right, you start from the top. Come. Book Isaiah chapter 34, verse 1. 
Yeah. It says, come ye, come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations. Right, so the, so the indignation, it means what? Righteous anger. Hey, the Lord has a right to be mad at you uh, other nations, especially you Edomites. I mean, look at what y'all doing on the planet, man. You got, you got, you got plastic, you spraying chemtrails in the air, this whole alphabet people thing. Okay? Oh, shit. They, like, they over there in other countries giving them money. But you got homeless people here, you know? And to add to that, you know, just off seeing that movie, Oppenheimer, you know, all those uh, materials that they brought and gathered and stuff like that, and when that bomb went off, hey, that left uh, a toxic zone. And you remember what he said about, you remember what he said? He said, give it to the man. Give it back to him. So you wanted our people to go back into a land that was toxic. Right? Not to mention all the other bombers because they said it was, uh, the certain bomb, it was one bomb they tested 452 times. And guess what? It left craters. And guess what? It sent that radiation in the air and it rained down back on small town villages farther away. And guess what? Those people started getting sick. They was getting cancer because of that uh, nuclear fallout. Right. So you devils got to pay for that, man. Because y'all are literally causing all this havoc in the earth. Somebody's responsible for that. You devils are responsible for that. Okay? Right. And it says, <clears throat> Their slains also shall be cast out, and their stinks shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf faller of the vine. Right, it says uh, heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. So that represents what? That represents uh, that uh, that uh, mushroom cloud. Okay? Because when the uh, prophet Isaiah saw this vision, you know, he just described it the best way that he could. All right? So yeah, when you look at a mushroom cat, it do kind of like a scroll, right, right. you know? Like they tie the scroll like like in the middle, and it's like like a flange up at the top. Yeah. So kind. Yeah, and when you actually watch a nuclear bomb explode, the atmosphere actually folds in within itself. You know? right. So that's why the prophet Isaiah described it as like that because it was folded within itself. Okay. Yeah. Because everything, because when a when a nuke goes up goes off everything gets vacuumed in there and it gets hella right. hot you know so you know that's what's coming to america soon you know 200 million of them okay yeah 200 million warriors man. uh verse four we're reading again and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll and their host shall fall down as a leaf off the vine and as the falling fig from the tree for my sword for my sword right shall be bathed in heaven uh, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Right, so it's, it's going to come down upon these uh, upon these Edomites, man. All right, yeah, because uh, Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. All right, because hey, the Lord, hey, he hates you, Edomites. You know, because you are a vessel that was created for dishonor. All right, and the Israelites, so called Black Spanish and Native Americans, we are a vessel made unto honor. You know, but right now, we're not in a power. Right now, we are slaves. But the Lord is about to flip it uh, right side up because right now everything is upside down. Okay? And can you get one more for me? And that's all I have. Uh, Psalm, my Psalms, Proverbs 16 and 1. And uh, you can skip to 4 too. Story is Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 1. And the preparation of the heart is the. So like the preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. Right, so the preparations of the heart, like many your mind, your uh, la'a, okay? Because when you watch that movie, I ain't trying to spoil it for you brothers out there. When you watch that movie, it pretty much shows that Yahweh watching me all the child programming his mind to, to make that type of weapon, okay? Because the Lord used him, hey, he, and, and even after he made it, hey, he was, he was remorseful. <laughs> he was all like, oh man, like, what have I done? Yeah, you know, it goes back to that quote. He said, uh, I have become a destroyer of worlds. Right, right. All right. So yeah, and really, really your own world, because uh, that's what the scripture said. But Jacob is the beginning of the world, and Esau, well, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. God, God. Yeah. And like the brother said, you know, 
brothers go see the movie, man, because look, the the movie director, Christopher Nolan, man, he's, you know, he makes movies very, very good, and he very basically focused on Eiffelheimer and the things he was thinking about, you know, and basically what it was being shown is basically the Lord showing him these visions and stuff like that, and he, in the movie, Eiffelheimer said he couldn't get no sleep, and he couldn't get no sleep because he kept on seeing the same visions. Basically, the Lord was fucking with him, like, I ain't gonna stop showing you this shit until you actually do it. Right. And look, all the, the math and all the stuff that he did, okay, was just for a future cause so these weapons would be used in the later future, okay? And like the brother said, he felt very sorrowful because he already know what he brought upon himself. And what, what, what quote did he say when him and, uh, like I said, we, we, we ain't trying to spoil it, but, you know, brothers need to see it. Uh, what did... He say to uh, Al, uh, Albert Einstein, you know what he said? He like he was all like, well, Albert, Albert Einstein said to him, he said that uh, you said that, that this world, this missile probably gonna destroy the world. And Albert Einstein said, I think that we already have. Exactly. Yeah. Now he said we already did. You know? Yeah. So this go to show you, you know, <laughs> and then it showed the uh, the ending. It showed him in the plane, all the missiles flying across the world. And guess what was highlighted in the lake of fire spreading over? It was spreading over America because when you look at the ending, okay, you see it that it's on the Africa, where Africa is, but the lake of fire is spreading over where the Western Hemisphere is, okay? That's right. So this go to show you like the Lord, what we preaching on these highways and byways is 100% factual and scriptural, man. That's right. Okay? So that just goes to show you that we ain't bullshitting when we tell you that America is going to be destroyed. Literally, this all happened in 1940 something. 1940 something, okay? It was, uh, it was 1942. God, that was like, what, how many years? 80 something years? Yeah. 80 years ago, and Alfaheim had a vision of. Of, of a future of uh, thermonuclear destruction. Guess what? That's coming. Okay. Right. Going down to verse four. The Lord had made all things for Himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. I right, say even the wicked for the day of evil, because you, you even might suggest a vessel unto dishonor, like I stated earlier, and you pretty much the Most High sword. Okay, that He gonna bring upon the world. He, he gonna bring the sword upon you, uh, hard-headed Israelites that don't want to get right. And, and he gonna uh, force the sword upon yourself, you know? But, hey, the Lord gonna activate his soldiers as well. Cause mm -hmm. you're gonna have to worry about the, uh, the super soldiers, the, the elect super soldiers, the 144,000 Superman. <laughs> so Kyle, yeah, your technology, yeah, it's not gonna be able to save you, bro. Yeah. You know, hey, the Lord allowed you to create that to destroy yourself. It was funny, okay? They made this movie somewhat African, okay? A a a a what's the word? Accurate, okay? Them Edomites, they were joyful when they destroyed Nurushima and Hiroshima, okay? But not realizing that uh, that... Nagasaki. Nagasaki yeah. and Hiroshima, okay? They was very excited, okay? But in Alfaheimer's eyes, he was feeling bad, like, oh shit, I'm yeah. responsible for the death of 100,000, 200,000 people. But guess what? You are responsible for the death of your own race. Right. You know? Yeah, like he was saying, like, damn, like, hey, I got blood on my ass. This <laughs> You know? And, um, so yeah. So, hey, so he already knew, man. Yeah, and because look, <laughs> he was like, man, look, the atomic bomb was enough. And, but the other scientists is like, nah, we didn't make the hydrogen bomb because the hydrogen bomb is way more powerful than the atomic bomb. You know? Right. But, you know, like, like we say, brothers, go see the movie, you know, because like I said, we, this, you know, Cap says you're talking about that movie. Right, you right. Know? But it's just, it just shows you the spirit, the, 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 the spiritual side of that movie, okay? Because, you know, they had to throw some bullshit up in there, but the main focus is that thermal nuclear destruction coming to America, man. Okay. okay. Uh, I got one more. Job 20. And, uh, verse, uh, 23. The reason it says, when he's about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and it shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah. Okay. Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Okay, so when this devil is thinking he's about to accomplish 
his new world order, that's when the Lord gonna stop him in his tracks and the thermonuclear destruction is going to happen. Okay, because the mark of the beast is going to be here and all sorts of things. Jacob's trouble going to be happening. World War III going to be happening. But guess what? In the midst of all that, the Lord going to stop him right there. Hit him with that. All right, nigga. You done. Now it's time for you to fall down. Okay? So, kind of, that, that's basically, you know, like we say, go watch the movie. Man. This is very, very informative, you know, and it's, it's spiritual and prophetical. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How by Shimmy, I was shy 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 by Shimmy, I